Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring videos here on this channel. And today I have a super exciting video for you guys. I have my winter and Christmas coloring book collection video. I'm super excited to show you guys my entire winter Christmas collection. Um, I have 18 coloring books that are winter and or Christmas and those are just the ones that are strictly Christmas or winter so that is a lot I last night was actually re-watching my last year video of this and I only had eight and I have gotten rid of some of those books so I have accumulated a lot of Christmas and winter coloring books which honestly I don't really mind I think they're really fun and yeah, I'm just excited to show you guys um, these books. Um, I'm going to start by showing you guys the color by number and then go into non-color by number. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get right on into it. Okay, so the first book I have here is a book that will be completed by the end of the month. So I don't even know if this really like counts because I won't have this past this season anyways. But this is the Advent Calendar Color by Number by Sach and Sach Deva. I have been enjoying this book so much, you guys. So a little bit of a sneak peek for you guys. I'll show you guys some of the pages um, and a few that I have done this month so I actually have no tabs in the book because since I'm just completing this front to back in one month I don't feel the need to be tabbing them all that <laughs> feels like a waste of tabs so I'm not gonna do that but yeah this book has been such a fun time to color in this month I'm excited um, at the end of the month you guys will see a full flip through of this as well as obviously seeing it in my completed pages um, I am caught up I have been coloring every single day today is December 11th so I have day 11 right here a little sneak peek but actually technically none of these are really a sneak peek because I have all of these on my Instagram so if you guys are ever interested in seeing more of my coloring um, especially before my finished pages video comes out definitely check out my Instagram I leave it linked down below in the description box always but yeah just a little bit I guess sneak peek of my pages I have done in this book so far but yeah like I said this has been such a joy to color in this month I am actually sad that we're already almost halfway through but it has been such a fun time and I love this book okay so next I have happy Christmas color by number this is the circle book the mystery circle book by Sach and Sach Deva this is my first of his mystery circle book and it gives me very similar vibes to Belba family stone mosaic which is why I wanted to pick it up um I actually have not colored a page in here yet which is honestly a shame because I need to Granted, I did just get it in the mail about a week ago. This was a new kind of this year purchase um, in terms of Christmas coloring. So honestly, this will kind of be a trend for a few of the books that I haven't even touched yet, which is really, really sad. Um, but you know what? It happens. And I've said this before, but like coloring books are for life, honestly. So if you find a book that you really want to pick it up and you buy it and you don't color in it for a while, definitely don't feel bad about it because these coloring books are here for life. They're not just going to like disappear in like three months from now, if you know what I mean. Um... So that's my logic, at least. <laughs> it's been my logic with getting all the Disney books. But um, I definitely really do want to do a page in this book. I think this will be a book that I work um, front to back in. But yeah, this is Happy Christmas Color by Number. I hope you guys cannot hear the dog barking outside. Um, I don't know. My windows are obviously not open. It's middle of December, but I hear a dog barking. So I don't know if it's carrying over on camera. But next, I have a book from last year. And this is Sach and Sach Devo's Stained Glass Christmas. And I have not done a page in it yet this year. Um, but but I do still very much like this book and it is on the more complicated end of his coloring um, it's a little bit more detailed of pages so I haven't really felt inspired to color in it this season just for that reason um, but I did do a couple last year which we can see if I'll get to those Wow I'm not finding any <laughs> Let's see where they, okay, here's one. Here's one I did last year. Very like colorful, bright, um, just a lot of colors and a lot of small spaces where like each space is a different color, if you know what I mean. And I believe, yeah, I did one more in here. So I have done a couple. These were done last season, uh, but it, it is still a very fun book and I do enjoy it. Um, I just haven't pulled it out this season. Okay, and then also from last year, I have Color Questopia's Large Print Christmas. And this one I really enjoyed last year a ton. I got a lot done in it last year. Um, again, a book I have not touched this year, which is sad. Um, I am sad that I haven't really reached for any of these books. Also, again, I feel like you guys can't hear it, but I can. My upstairs neighbors are walking around. I feel like I never hear them, but it's always the most inconvenient times when I do hear them, if you know what I mean. Um, 
But yeah, like I said, last year this was such a blast, and I'm just sad I haven't touched it this year. I think it's really just because I'm so focused on the advent this year that like any other like kind of Christmas coloring hasn't been happening as much, um, which like is sad, obviously, but it happens and it's fine. I did it to myself, obviously, but very cute pages. I've done quite a few, which I'm happy about, but that is Large Print Christmas. And then I have Color Questopia's book from last year, again, the more detailed Christmas book. This is Merry Christmas, and this book is a ton of fun. Again, another book I have not touched this year specifically, but I did touch last year. Um, did a couple pages last year, I think. I don't know how many I did. At least one, if not two. I'm not sure. But this book is just more detailed and is super fun, though. I actually think I did a Christmas in July page in here. Um, this actually might have been the one, the Christmas in July page that I did. But that's yeah, a little more detailed, so it'll take you a little bit more time to do pages in this book, but I still very much enjoy it. And that is that book. Next up, I have Kawaii Christmas. This is by Color Questopia. This is a new book from this year that I haven't touched this month, but I did color in last month, which I'm glad about. <laughs> I love that in my brain, I think like I'm gonna finish every book in my collection, but then I like do this thing where like I have books from last year that I like don't touch the next year. And it's like, Michaela, how realistic really are you? But do you guys also think like that? Or am I just absolutely insane to think that one day I will finish every book in my collection? It like I think could be a feasible goal, kind of, if I stopped buying completely. Um, but obviously that's not gonna happen. You just kind of have to pick and choose, I guess, and really focus in on what you want to finish. I don't even know how I started on that tangent, but here we are, right? Love this page, I really want to do that page. That's super cute, but. Yeah, that is Kawaii Christmas. And then the other Color Questopia book that came out this year is Christmas Joy, and this is just another really fun one. Um, I did do a page or two last month. Um, might have only been one page, but I really love this, like, the Christmas carolers. I think that's super fun. Oh my god, I really hope you guys cannot hear that dog barking. I... Oh, I pick, I'm picking the worst time to film. I mean, it's a 2 p.m. on a Sunday, so <laughs> it is what it is, but oh, that is super cute. Yeah, I really, yeah, this is the page I did. I, you know, wish I had time to pull out all my books during the season, but you gotta, like, pick and choose what you're focusing on, but Getting a page done in here this season is not too shabby. Okay, so last in my color by number collection, I have a new book again to my collection that unfortunately I haven't touched yet, but I just got it about a week ago. This is a uh, color by number Christmas mosaic by Sun Life Drawing. This is their extended edition, which is 50 coloring pages. And I think it's so fun. Um, it is just their normal like mosaic color by number. And yeah, it's just super fun. Um, like I said, haven't done a page in it. It's their black background, which I did not love the white background. Not a fan of that, but I do love a good black background because you don't have to do the line work. So definitely a book. I think I'm probably just going to work an order in once I do finally pick it up. Um, but yeah, it's just a really cute book. So I'm excited to work in it. Love the extended edition, even though do I really need more pages in my collection? Probably not. But yeah, this is... Christmas mosaic. Okay, so next I actually have um, a Disney color by number book. This is the only Disney color by number book that even closely has winter themes in it, really, like as a whole, because it's the winter book. So just a warning right now um, for spoilers. So please look away. I will let you guys know when I'm done showing spoilers if you guys are not into that. But um, yeah, so this book is the winter book, um, and there is just a bunch of really fun Christmas, winter, pages in this book. This is actually a page I'm gonna do as a buddy color with Meg. Um, I need to start mine. I think she might already be done with hers. I'm not too sure. Um, but this page, or this book just has the cutest pages. I did this one last month. Um, okay, so I'm out of the spoilers for anyone that wants to look, but I'm gonna try to find a couple that I've done in here. Um, so like I've done this page. I've done this page this was actually like a random number generated page and i was not a fan of like the process of this page particularly i don't know why i think it was just like tedious and i wasn't in the mood for it but it turned out nice regardless 
Um, I've done like both of these. So I've done a fair amount in this book. It is definitely like a really cute book. Um, I just don't color in it enough, but that's literally just because it's a winter book and I feel like I've only pulled it out during the winter time. This is the page I did last month, which I absolutely adore how this page came out. I think it really rekindled my love for this book. Um, and I think it's just because the character itself is so bright that it just made it really fun. So yeah, that is winter. Okay, so now we are getting into my non-color by number books. And I have a couple of Morgan O'Brien books and both of these, again, you guys, I haven't even touched yet, which makes me so sad. They're newer to my collection, so it's okay, but Matchstick Mouse Christmas Coloring Book. I knew I wanted to pick this book up this season because I am slowly building my Morgan O'Brien collection. Um, I currently have this one, the next one I'm gonna show you, and Autumn and Halloween. Um, so yeah, he also has a summer one that I will pick up over the summer, and he has, um, I think like a Animal Crossing one. It's super cute. So I'm excited and a flower one too that I might get in like the springtime. So these books are just really fun. They're very easy pages. I just haven't done a page in this one yet. And then I have North Pole, North Pole Elves and this is also by Morgan O'Brien. This is the other book that I have that I haven't touched. Um, but oh, they're so cute. All of the characters are just adorable. And honestly, like with alcohol markers, you could easily finish a page in like 30 minutes to 40 minutes, like very simple coloring. Um, just really adorable. I definitely need to work in this. And that is North Pole Elves. I just want to say that I really appreciate you guys sticking with me here. Um, I have a few more books to show you guys, um, but I'm sorry if I'm talking through these a little fast. I just feel like this video could get kind of long if I don't talk about the books a little bit quickly. But next we have 50 Wintertime Mandalas, and this is by Camelia Angelkova. And this is um, a book that I like, but I don't find myself ever reaching for. And I think it's because the line work is kind of thin um, and the pages are actually surprisingly kind of intimidating. Um, I don't really find that with her miniature books, but with the mandala books, I find it intimidating. Um, honestly, which is why I haven't picked up any more of the mandala versions of these books since I was gifted this one from Danielle. Um, but I have done one page and this is the page I have done. I think it turned out nice and I also think I picked the simplest page to do. But I do like how it turned out, but I haven't done anything in here since. But I mean, maybe this season I'll pull it out. We'll see. And then I have Camellia's uh, newest co uh, coloring book. That is 50 Winter and Christmas Fairy Houses. And this book is really adorable. Um, got some nice thick lines in this book. Each page is framed. So that way you don't have to really worry about like outside of the frame, which I love. I'm not a background gal. <laughs> I use alcohol markers 99% of the time, so I'm not really a background gal, but I'm just a huge fan of this book and her Halloween Fairy Houses book. I think this is a great new series. I feel like other people have noticed this too, but I've noticed that Camellia hasn't put on a miniature book in a while. I think her last miniature book was Vacation Minis, and I like am really sad about it. I really want her to come out with more minis. I have no idea if she plans on it, but I hope so. Um, these are super cute also. I just, I miss the minis, but I've done one page in here. I've done this page. I still have a buddy color I haven't done on here yet. I'm so sorry, Megan. I have not done it yet, but this is the page I have done in here. Um, super adorable. Very much love this book. Speaking of miniatures, next I have 50 Christmas Miniatures, again, by Camelia Angelkova, and you cannot go wrong with her minis. I love every single one of her minis books so much. Um, so I've done a few in here. I did this one last month with Meg. It was a buddy color. I really need to do more in here. Oh, I did this one last year. I love how this turned into like pages I've also done, but I think it's fun in these kind of videos to show you guys some of the pages I've completed as well. Uh, next month, I actually plan on doing a full coloring book collection video. I thought I was gonna do it this month, but then I decided that I actually wanna split it up into four parts and also include all of my finished pages because I haven't done that in a while. So that'll be like a four part series coming in January, which I'm very excited about. A little bit nervous to film it all, but I think it'll be good. So just a little, FYI, I guess. I don't know. And then I think I've done the nameplate. Yeah, I've done the nameplate as well. Super duper cute. 
I love this book a ton as well. And then I have 50 Winter Miniatures, um, also obviously by Camelia Angelkova, and this book, very similar to the Christmas minis, um, except it's more wintry, a little less Christmassy. Um, this book came out toward the beginning of when she was doing her mini series. Um, so the line work is a little thinner. The pages aren't as like, I feel like the images could be a little bit more blown up and the line work can be a little bit thicker like in her newer stuff. Um, but it's not obviously because it's an older book, but yeah, I still love this book. I love the pages. I just wish I had more time to color like everything I wanted to color, but I, nobody has the time for that, you know? I wish I did. I really wish I did, but I get what I can done and that's all that matters and I have fun with what I do color. <laughs> I've done the nameplate, which I actually do really like how this nameplate page turned out. Um, I don't even remember when I did this, probably when I first got the book. I just don't recall doing it, but yeah, I probably did. <laughs> probably did um, when I first got the book, but yeah, that is 50 Winter Miniatures. And then I have Winter Chibis. This is by Alexandra Francis, and this is her newest um, wintry book, and I absolutely love this book. This is definitely top tier amazing for me. Um, I actually have another buddy color in here planned with Meg. Um, we're actually going to do the Hanukkah Girl together, which shout out to her for wanting to do the Hanukkah Girl with me. I absolutely love her, um, so that'll be awesome. But this book just has a bunch of wintry images, some Christmas, um, some winter, a Hanukkah. <laughs> I have done a page in this book this month. Um, I think it was during a color and chat actually of when I, um, when I like colored the page. So, which is this page? <laughs> I actually finished it off camera. Really like how it turned out. Um, don't know exactly if this makes the most sense, but I, I think the colors together work. So. Yeah, that is Winter Chibis. And then I did finally pick up Cute Christmas by Jade Summer. I Again, this was a book I just got a, like a week or two ago, um, so I haven't colored in it yet, but this is actually a book that was illustrated by Alexandra Francis last Christmas. And I saw Meg um, color in it in a color and chat that she did for her Christmas coloring tag. And I was like, how do I not own this book? And then I checked my wish list and I'm like, why was this not on my wish list? So I went ahead and I purchased it. Um, very much worth it. Super cute. I really want to do a page in it. I sound like a broken record, but I absolutely love her art style. It's just super simple to color, also whimsical, and you just can't go wrong with her work, I feel like, so. And I feel like it's just gotten better and better over the books she's released, so this is the page Meg was working on, and her page turned out really cute. And that is Cute Christmas. Okay guys, we are getting towards the end. I only have two more books to show you guys. And these next two, the only reason I'm including it is because they are basically four books in one and each of the books contains a Christmas book inside of it. So I figured I would go ahead and just um, show you guys these last two books just kind of for fun. Um, this is Kawaii Girls uh, Grayscale by Jade Summer. And let me see if I can find the beginning of the Christmas section. Um, I think this is the beginning of the Christmas section. So, nice little grayscale. I, this is bad. I never flip from like front to back. So, but yeah, we just have some cute Kawaii girls in different Christmas scenes, wintry scenes. I have not done a page in here. I actually haven't done a page in this book at all, but I really want to. I just have not. Ooh, I really like that one. I like the little like hidden cat in her hair. That's cute. But that is Kawaii Girls. And then last but certainly not least, we have Chibi Girls. And again, we just have a Christmas section here in the back that I am going to find where it starts. I'm guessing right here. This is where this section starts. And I actually really think I like the Chibi Girls one more than the Kawaii Girls, but I think that just goes for the book in general. I just prefer this one over the Kawaii. Um, I don't know why. I just think they're cuter, but they're both super cute though. That is so stinking cute. He's holding the flowers behind his back. Oh, that is so cute. That's so stinking cute. Another book I have not colored in this section, at least. I actually have done a horror page in this book, but haven't done anything else.
yeah, very, very, very fun. Love it a ton. And that is Chibi Girls, and that is the end of this little Christmas winter coloring book collection video. I am sure I will do an updated one next year for you guys, um, but for now, this is what I have. I have a lot of Christmas coloring I could be doing. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!